All right, enjoy some amazing food, drinks, and entertainment all for a good cause. Yeah, Sacra Gray is live at Sutter's Fort this morning, giving us a little preview of the second annual Farm to Fort with a T on the end. Not a K. That's right. Farm to Fort right here at Sutter's Fort. It's actually my first time here. We were talking earlier about how this is the quintessential field trip spot for everybody that lives in this area. Mine was the Alamo. Y'all have Sutter's Fort. And today, this place is going to be filled with people. That's right. Okay, Randy, come on in here. We've got Farm to Fort second annual event. How are we feeling this morning? Oh, it's going to be a great day. It's, it's the weather's so perfect for this year's outside event, and we're really excited to get it going. So last year, y'all had a lot of success. I mean, hundreds of people walked through these doors, got to enjoy some good food, good drinks. What can people expect this year? More of the same. Uh, we're back again this year. We're, we're expecting 20 restaurants to be serving their bites tonight. We have uh, 15 breweries, nine wineries, and five distilleries that will all be serving uh, their tastes and bites tonight. It's all included in the price of the ticket when they walk in the door, so there's nothing else that you have to pull out of your pocket and pay for. I like that, an all-inclusive. You pay, you don't worry about it, and then you drink the night away. And of course, we've got some entertainment too. Yep, they're setting up this stage right behind me where the Spasmatics are gonna be out here playing your Love 80s hits. And we've also got a DJ that's gonna be playing as well, right? DJ Eddie will be here. It'll be a high energy group of the Spasmatics are really known for putting on a great show and uh, and with a lot of energy from classic hits from the 80s. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm nice. just learning that the Spasmatics are like a nationwide thing. When I was living in Austin, the Spasmatics were the go-to on Wednesday night. So y'all are going to get to enjoy this tonight while you're drinking those brews, eating those bites. But the most important thing in all of this is that we're doing it for a good cause. So you are the founder of Running for Rhett. Tell us a little bit about where 100% of the proceeds tonight are going to go toward. Yeah, so uh, all of the things that we do with uh, with our event here and any other events that we put on, but 100% uh, goes to the, the our cause, Running for Rhett which was established in memory of my son, Rhett, who passed away back in 04 from complications from cerebral palsy. Mm. Um, he was seven years old, and uh, my wife used running to get through the grief of losing Rhett. Um, she ran in a half marathon on the one-year anniversary of when he passed away, and when she crossed the finish line, she said, we all have to run, we have to run for Rhett. And so mm. that's when I started running, and more people started running with us and walking, and now we use, uh, we use the term move into life, because that's what we say my wife Beth did when she started running. And so kids, uh, we, we fund Northern California's largest after-school youth fitness program with the money that we raise from these. Hmm. Incredible. I mean, the story and the impact that Rhett's life is making on kids all in our region. And also, I, I gotta say, you know, I've seen the running for Rhett shirts all around town, and I was like, what is this? Everybody's wearing these shirts. It's incredible to see how many people that have stood behind you and have joined in on this movement. Yeah, the passion that comes from the people that train with us. And so we have people that train for half marathons, marathons, and, and lots of events. We started doing pickleball and lots of other fun athletic events. And after they, uh, they learn what our cause is and the community that we bring with it, they want to help. And so we've got people out here wearing the shirts this morning, putting this, uh, putting this thing together for us. And so it's uh, the passion from our volunteers is what makes it work. And you guys are all going to be out here tonight. Again, the event, they're going to have a VIP hour beforehand, but the general admission, 6.30 to 9.30. Tickets are still available. They're $85. And again, you pay, and then you don't worry about it, and you enjoy your night and dance your night away to some good music. So you can head, where can people buy their tickets? Yeah, I would, I would suggest going to farmtofort.org and click on the ticket tab. And, uh, and purchase a ticket, you can be inside its wonderful walls of Sutter's Fort. There we go. You can relive your field trip days right here at Sutter's Fort. We can't wait to see you out here. And hey, go enjoy some of that 80s music. The Spasmatics are mm -hmm. waiting for you. That is great. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Sacra. Thank you, Sacra.